Welcome to Briefcase Radio Workshop. My name is Omar Muhammad, helping you improve and progress in business and in life. As always, tonight we have some great radio workshops to help you the entrepreneur, the budding entrepreneur, get those resources to start, expand, and grow your business. Uh, tonight, we're going to start off with, we actually, we have two segments of the customer plan, where we keep them in your business because we all have to eat, and them meaning the customers. And first up, we're talking about the family business, getting your kids involved in business. And we have for our small business insider, Ryan C. Green. And Ryan has so many companies. Ryan, I kind of made up a company name for you, the Ryan C. Green Enterprises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. He's no stranger to Briefcase Radio Workshop. Um, it's been a while, man. It's like it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been too long, man. You know, yeah. I went away for a minute. I came yeah. back. And yeah, you act like I never came back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're but, glad uh, we're glad uh, to have you back, yeah, man. Glad to be back. So, for those who are not familiar with who Ryan C. Green, and that's Green with an E, right? Yeah, absolutely. I thought you was gonna say that, but you know, I wanted to beat you to it. So, let them know what what, what you do, man. I was actually going to say that I am Ryan C. <laughs> Green, and the company name is actually Green House Media. Green with the E. <laughs> and uh, what we do is we, we provide media with a purpose. And uh, mostly, uh, predominantly, uh, the company started as a book publishing company. I'm a best-selling author and professional speaker. I publish other authors as well. Uh, from there, we've grown to other media aspects. We've done radio and television. And most recently, I uh, got into video production as we mm -hmm. um, produced a new kids fitness DVD, uh, Fit Life Kids, with me and uh, my two children. So uh, we've done a lot of media projects a lot that's still uh, coming uh, but that's predominantly what we do with greenhouse media all right good deal so as you know you know the i have four daughters and all of them have experienced some form of entrepreneurship and you know two of the four are, are entrepreneurs now uh including my my, my youngest one my eight-year-old uh, and i know that you 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 got what four or five six six kids right <laughs> Do you say four or five kids? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I know with, I know. No, I I know with your young people, man, you know, you, you, you getting them involved and you got them involved early on. So let's talk about that. Yeah, I actually I have two children. I oh, have, two. Uh, That's right. Yeah. My <laughs> son, uh, Jordan, will be 13 next month, actually, all wow. right, after Thanksgiving. Wow. And uh, my daughter, Jaden, is 11. Mm. So, um, you know, they, they both, they're like any other kid. They yeah. have uh, dreams and goals, and they have like six or seven things they want to be when they grow up. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, like every kid. And, and and my thing is, what they've seen their daddy do is, is go out here and build businesses, and they've seen uh, the struggles, they've seen the successes, you know, and they've seen, uh, most importantly, an opportunity and an alternative. You know, um, I let them know, no matter what it is they want to be when they grow up, always explore an entrepreneurial side to that. You know, right now my son is wanting to be an engineer. My daughter is saying she wants to be a uh, an architect. And, you know, both great careers. Uh, but always want to make sure they have that entrepreneurial side to it uh, uh, so that as they grow and as opportunities come, they're always looking for something to make sure they have some sort of control over their lives and their, their uh, livelihood uh, as they grow up. Absolutely. So, you know, you've been to the Youth Entrepreneurship Conference that we've, we've held for the last 10 years, and you see the, the, the number of students that come each year, and we're, we're really exposing them to opportunities, just as you indicated, that, you know, entrepreneur could be, entrepreneurship can be something that you could do right now. So with, with, your, with your kids, Ryan, uh, what, what, what business are they in now? We have, we've just uh, filmed and released a kids' fitness DVD. Uh, mm -hmm. So with that, now my daughter's been dancing since she was four. Mm -hmm. uh, my son loves sports, but he uh, deals with asthma. So mm -hmm. we, we finally got that under control. And what we've done is we put together a fitness DVD uh, where there it, it's for kids. So they're the stars of it. They have some of their friends that are doing the workouts with them. It's four workouts on the DVD uh, program, and, and it's geared towards kids from four years old to 13 to really get them active, to get them to, to fight childhood obesity, but also – uh, just to get kids active, there's a lot of um, other benefits of working out mm -hmm. that kids get. Um, not you know that that have nothing to do with the size of the child. You know, we have uh, a good friend of the show, Dr. Renee, mm -hmm. is featured on the uh, DVD as well. 
talking to the parents about uh, the mental benefits, the esteem uh, benefits uh, that come from kids just being active and working out. And you know, maybe your kid suffers from ADHD or maybe they suffer from uh, some other kind of uh, situation where uh, this focus uh, can, can really be um, benefited from doing workouts and getting active. So my kids and I, we, we uh, jumped on it, and they've had a great time and, and really have learned the business aspect from all uh, aspects of the business uh, throughout this whole process. All right, good, good deal. So if you're just tuning in, this um, this is Omar Muhammad, and on the phone we have Ryan C. Green, and he is a, a entrepreneur um, many times over. Uh, he has a company called Greenhouse Media. And the focus is, you know, how do how do you get your kids involved? So, Ryan, for those parents that are listening, or uh, teachers, or organizations out there who are tuned in tonight, uh, what are some of the steps that they can take to really get their young person involved in entrepreneurship? Well, first thing is, I beat them, and if you know, it's on this joke. Mm-hmm. If yeah. that doesn't work, so. yeah, <laughs> right. No, just joking. But seriously, the way you, uh, the way we've done it is. Uh, one, I'll live by example. So you've always known that daddy runs businesses. Right. Uh, but two, you know, when I had this idea uh, for the, the DVDs, I um, brought it to them first, and I asked them if they even wanted to do it. I didn't force them into entrepreneurship, uh, well, not to this business uh, specifically. Uh, you know, I asked them if they wanted to do it, and when they got excited about it, when they were passionate mm. about it, it made it easy. You know, I want right. to make sure that they were doing something that they enjoyed because if they were, if, if I'm pushing something on them business-wise, they don't even like at a young age, then they're going to grow up not liking it. And they're right. going to be, no, I tried that when I was little, you know, something like that. Um, but I really, I engaged them in every aspect of it. I painted the vision for them mm-hmm. and showed them, listen, this is what we're doing. This is who we're helping. This is the, the mission behind what we're doing. Uh, you know, and, and with that, the workout, was they were part of the planning process of, of the design. And, and the image branding of it. They were part of the, the filming. They were, mm. you know, they, they were, we filmed, uh, you know, one whole day. We was just, it was a long day of filming and they were in there just doing workouts, you know, we had to take them out for dinner to celebrate afterwards and give them some, <laughs> some massages when they were filming. So <laughs> right. uh, but what they learned was how to work. They mm. learned that, you know, nothing's just going to come just because you want it to, you know, they put in the work. And, uh, you know, once we went through that, once we had the, uh, We've gone through the process of the funding. They had to realize that, you know, with Daddy Rinder coming out, well, we're still working on this part. we got to get this done. You know, and then now it's finally ready. It's finally available for sale. Uh, they did their first event uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, and we were at a military base. And I had them out there at the table. You know, I've been doing book signing since, mm-hmm. I, you know, for the last 10 years. But I started as an adult, so I'm used to hearing no's. But I put right. my kids out there. I let them, you know, learn and get those no's and get that rejection. Um, and and it, I was so impressed, Omar, watching them uh, because they didn't let it phase them. You know, mm-hmm. it was kind of like, oh, wow. You know, it was it was fun to them. You know, they weren't – obviously, no one wants to hear no all day. Right. Uh, but their spirits were so good about it. They didn't let them – they didn't take it personal. You know, how many adults do we know say we don't like sales uh, because we don't like the rejection? We mm-hmm. take it personally. You know, but at a young age, kids are going to become what you teach them to right. become. Right. right. And so they were able to uh, deal with that and really uh, uh, grow in that aspect. So just getting them involved throughout the whole process it really made them take ownership of it and realize that, you know, you know, they, they, this is their business. You know, this is this, they own part of this as well. Right, absolutely. So, so Ryan, I guess you, you and I have an advantage over, you know, other people as, you know, we're, we're both entrepreneurs and we have that, that, that sense of what it takes to, to be an entrepreneur for those parents or teachers or individuals in youth groups who, who are not, doesn't have that knowledge that we have. What advice can you give to them as, as they are getting their young people involved in entrepreneurship? Well, first, I, I would say if you have a child who's who's showing uh, excitement about being an entrepreneur, you definitely want to embrace that. Uh, don't stop them because you don't know about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned the I for Change mm-hmm. uh, conference. Is that the Icon conference? Yep, yep, now. yep. yep. Uh, you know, that was huge because you get around people who are like you. You know, you get around uh, kids and, and youth who are, who are starting businesses. I think, especially for our community, man, we, we get so stuck on thinking, we we can't have it now. Mm-hmm. You know, we that's not for us. We have got to go through this process and this and that. While other communities, we see their children working in the family business as soon as they can walk. You know, when they're right. they're that's growing right. up as entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. and, and we're the only ones who 
who won't proactively endorse entrepreneurship. Mm. You know, we, we want to teach our, our, our kids to go and, and get a good, safe job, which is important and good, but you've got to teach both. We've got to be able to teach them not to be afraid to take risks, not to be afraid to explore uh, ownership uh, if you really want to have uh, wealth. And wealth is different than rich. You know, I don't ever teach my kids, I don't ever teach them, hey, let's go get rich, because rich is just what you have right now, but wealth is what's passed down from generation to generation. Mm. You know, and I teach them about building business. That's really business and inheritances are really the only way people, families are building wealth uh, that, that that passed down. But most of us, our, our, our generation, what we do, we're passing bills down mm. once we go. Mm. So I try to make sure that, uh, you know, get involved. And if you don't know as a parent, you know, how to do it, uh, go to those who do and make sure you're involved in your kids with it as well. All right. Good deal. Uh, we got about four minutes left. I do want to give out the website. Uh, so how can people learn more about, uh, what is the name of the DVD? It's Fit Life Kids. So it's Fit Life Kids. You go to www.fitlifekidsdvd.com. And you'll see it right on there. There's a uh, quick two-minute infomercial about it. You see the DVD, the front and back. There's four workouts. We have uh, two adult trainers who are involved with the workouts as well, uh, Coach Nikki as well as Coach Jamal. Uh, like I said, we have a full parents uh, segment on there as well, talking mm-hmm. to the parents about um, the importance of working out and fitness. And uh, you can go over there on there and order a special going on right now for the holiday season. So you want to take advantage of it right now uh, to go over there and order a DVD, get your kids active, and uh, get get them get them excited about life. Uh, absolutely, and it's it's really a a niche. I mean, I haven't seen until you showed me the the DVD uh, a a workout for for young people and. And this, this, I think, you know, uh, young people as well as old, older people. We had Tiffany Lyman on, um, I believe, two weeks last week, and we talked about healthy entrepreneur. So it, it's really good that they have this DVD now. They're young entrepreneurs, and they're beginning to think um, being healthy at an early age. Right, and, and my thing was when I was developing this, you know, you're you're right. There's nothing out there like this with this kid doing it. Um, that one aren't cartoons and there aren't talking animals and things like that. I wanted <laughs> human beings right, right. leading these workouts and teaching kids, like, you know, let, let's, let's keep it real and uh, do these workouts and understand. But, again, it's very fun. There's music, there's dance. There's two workouts of dance, there's cardio, and there's strength. But, uh, you know, we mm-hmm. overlook the health aspect so much. It doesn't matter what your goals are and what you accomplish in life. If you're too uh, sick to do anything once you get it, what good is it? So we can't keep overlooking the health aspect of it. Uh, so that's why this is so important. All right. So, um, Ryan, we got about a minute and a half left. So anything happening in Greenhouse Media media that we should know of? And is there a contact information uh, for Greenhouse yes, Media? I am a couple of things. I am in the midst of uh, the biggest um, challenge that Greenhouse has taken on. Uh, you know, we stopped publishing other authors for a while. Uh, when I went away to uh, Virginia, but I'm back. And right now we have launched the 100 author challenge. Wow. Uh, the, the, our goal was to sign 100 new authors in the next uh, three years. So you can go to www.100authorchallenge. That's the number 100 authorchallenge.com for information on how to be involved with that. We're looking for 100 new authors to sign the greenhouse media. We're trying to really just flood the marketplace, flood the country, flood the world with, uh, quality media and, and, and books that, that are inspirational. Uh, we're doing fiction, nonfiction, uh, poetry, children's books. We just want to be the one. We want to uh, be the, the, the company that is flooding the, the, the marketplace with positive quality products. So right now we're looking for new authors. That's going on right now. I'm always available uh, for speaking engagements at ryancgreen.com. It's green with the E. <laughs> I'm always available to do uh, engagements um, at, for myself, but also uh, with Fit Life Kids. Me and the kids mm-hmm. will come out to your, your youth group and, and mm-hmm. lead workouts and things like that as well. So there's a lot going on, Omar. Uh, Greenhouse Media is back, man. Good deal, man. Well, glad to have you back, and it was great to see you uh, a couple weeks ago. And we definitely want to make sure that the kids are there for the uh, the, the annual Youth Entrepreneurship Conference as well. You book it, we're going to be there. All right, good deal. So that's Ryan C. Green, and that's a green with the E, Greenhouse Media. Uh, thank you for coming on board, and uh, we'll uh, uh, hear from you uh, shortly.
Thanks so much. All right. 